For this section, um, this is the measuring of the upper, lower, and pinion gears in the DPS upper gear set. So I just set the rolling torque on this or the bearing pretension. That's all set up. I've reassembled this. And now what I have to do is measure the gears. Um, you don't need a lot of special tools to this. There's a little finesse to it. You do need some precision measuring tools, whether it's a, a depth mic um, or if you want to use, as I use, a uh, vernier caliper with a foot on it and basically zero that out. So first tool is the 0600 tool that you need and in the service manual it will tell you which way this goes. It's either the flat side up or it's the recess side up. Common sense tells you it looks like it would fit over the gear like this and common sense is wrong. So follow the book because it's going to tell you that the flat side of the tool goes down onto the gear. It does not sit properly. It looks like it would the other way, but it does not. The next step that we're gonna do is we need to measure from this surface down to this surface. And we're gonna record that dimension, but we're gonna make three measurements, one over here, one over here, and one over here. What we wanna do is stay away from the bolt holes on the housing. So the next portion is I use a, uh, a vernier caliper and what I need to do is put the adapter foot on there. I'm gonna turn this over for a moment to zero it because I have a perfectly machined surface and I am going to pull down slightly and zero that. So now I have a perfectly zeroed surface. Turn the tool back over. I'm gonna hold the tool in place. I'm gonna put the vernier caliper on the tool, hold it down in position and then I'm going to measure down to the surface. And I'm going to record that number. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to do the exact same thing without moving the tool, if I can help it. And I'm going to measure down to the surface again. Last one, I'm going to measure over here again, away from the bolt holes, and I'm going to make that measurement. Okay, those three dimensions, I'm going to average them. So 2.498, 2.497, 2.498. 2 so the average is 2.498. That's the calculation, that's the first measurement. We're gonna put that into the shim sheet uh, that I created uh, later, and I'll go over those measurements and how to determine what the shim thickness is. So we're done with this. That's the first measurement. I'm gonna do. The next measurement I'm gonna do, just raise this up so we've got a decent surface so you guys can see, is I'm gonna measure the lower gear. So now the lower gear sits in the housing like this. There are shims under the lower gear that will raise or lower it. So what I need to do is turn it over. Being that the surface on the outside of the bearing race is what the shims sit on, I need to measure from that outside bearing race to the inside of the gear. That's the difference between the gear height and the outside of the race. That's the dimension that we're gonna figure out these gear teeth are gonna be in the case. So on that, what I need is I need another special tool, okay? And when I go in the book, there are several of these maybe in your toolbox, they're factory set. And this one is grade 5071, and this is the 701 tool. All right, this tool has two separate locating pins, one here and one here. These are factory sets. You never mess with these set screws, all right? The dimension is I'm going to put this on the center of the gear and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure with a feeler gauge between that pin and the, and the bearing itself. So what I want to do is I want to find a feeler gauge that is actually just fits under there and then the next one makes the bearing rotate. And I'll show you that in a second. So let's start at 15 and see if that's too big. And you only have to measure in one location. 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and slide 15 under there. And 15 hits, so it's less than 15. So I'm gonna drop down to 10 thousandths. Let me see if I can get a 10 thousandths feeler gauge under there. So I need to hold that tool down, put this on the outside of the bearing flat, and try to rotate. So I'm gonna hold my finger on the bearing so it won't rotate. And I can clear under there without feeling it try to move the bearing. So 10 thousandths on between 10 and 15. So from this point, you got it. You go to 11, 12, and so on until you hit the magic number. So I'm gonna get 11, 12, and 13 ready because I can just shoot through these real quick and find hopefully it's 12, 13. So 12 will go. 11, excuse me. 12 will go. Let's try 12. 12 fits. I bet 13 looks like it's the magic number. Okay, now I can feel it just touch. And I've got to hold this flat against that bearing and see if I can slide it under there into that pin without moving the bearing. So this again is a little feel for it. So I can make it under there, so let's go to 14. I think 13 is the number. You'll know because 14 will not fit under there. It'll hit the, hit the actual pin and you'll have to force it under there. Yep, okay, so I can't get 14 under there. I could get 13, so it's 13,000. So I'm gonna write down here, lower gear, 0 0.013 is my value, okay? That's the lower gear. That's the one that's like this in the case. Now we do the upper gear. Now the upper gear, I'm gonna measure without shims. So you can see that I actually have the shims still stuck on this gear under that surface. So I'm gonna make sure I don't have any more shims on there. And I'm gonna measure from the bearing to this surface underneath here. And that is where it sits in the housing. So it drops into the housing and it sits on this lip and the shims are gonna move it. So this one's a little harder to do and it's nice to have it a little elevated so you can see under a little bit. Now, when I measure this bearing, excuse me, this gear, same tool, but I'm gonna use that lower pin. I'm gonna slide it under there so that I can get a feel of gauge and fit underneath there. So I'm gonna start with that same 13. And 13 fits under there, okay? Actually, that's 14. So I've gotta go up from 14. Doesn't look like much, so I'm gonna get 15 through 19 ready. So I'll try 15 first. Always make sure you don't have doubles stacked together by accident. I can get 15 under there, barely. So I bet you it's 15 just about. Let's try 16. So again, make sure that the tool is centered. That pin is underneath that surface. And I can't get that 16 without moving that bearing out of there. So I'm gonna move these. Tighten this up a little bit. And then I'm gonna try and pass that under there again. And it will drag the bearing with it. So I would say that that is too tight. So I'm gonna go down to, down to 15. So this is 16 thousandths. So I'm gonna write the upper here is 0 0.015. That's the clearance with a feeler gauge. So I've measured the three gears. I've measured the pinion gear, I've measured the upper gear, and I've measured the lower gear. We'll put those into the shim calc sheet and I'll show you how those dimensions come out to figure out that shim calculation next.